We've got ATK investing into some dualies, Bowden and DJ rocking those. They've got the body armor as well. That the raid bosses. It's maybe from MIBR. They're throwing a lot of util here, but they have three players in the bomb leaning towards the A side. They're trying to draw ATK off it. Is it gonna work? BRN gets ahead of Bowden. DJ trades one out, but he can't get the second. That's advantage, MIBR. That was incredibly aggressive, and Sonny pushing into Donut with the bomb, though could have lost the round right then and there if the bomb would have dropped, if DJ could have found a second kill. But Nzani gets that bomb to dirt, goes back into Donut to hold the line. MOTM pushes out, Swisher with a good one onto Henny. Turtle cannot survive. Nzani, though, with exit now, 2v2. No kit picked up yet for ATK. Keep an eye on the time here. MOTM pushing into Donut. There's a nice dink onto Nzani. All down to one. And Swisher's got no time, no real way to win this round. It's going to be MIBR running rampant with it. And exit will get the finishing I'm kill. and changed. And now it's a much more advantageous timing for the T side. That's something ATK will have to adapt to. Henny with a good opener on to miss him. And this follow up on to MOTM from Dolan. That's the A side wide open for MIBR once again. They're still pressuring in towards B, which it might not even matter. DJ and Swisher fall in subsequent fashion. All down to Bowden Master with a scout in hand. MIBR can go B. They can go A. Either way, they have a heavy numerical advantage. Tag, not the frag. Despite the damage. No kills for ATK. They are going to throw the smoke immediately. There's the Molotov. They're charging out here with a full more than a minute left on the clock, Austin. Yeah, they don't care to burn down the clock all too much. They like to go with some extra time. Henny gets the opening kill onto MOTM. His op already shining on the T side of Ancient. Bowden yet to come up with anything, but here comes the in-game leader for ATK. It's missed him onto BRN. Clears him out of Temple. 4v4 on the retake. That bomb taking away, and as we mentioned, no kit for ATK. They will have to hurry. Bowden looking for a victim with his gun Gunnear. Cannot find anything yet. The rotation's taking a lot of time for ATK. Time they do not have. They have about 15 seconds to get on the bomb and get this to few. Swisher pushing out. DJ's got the opener there and he's go. got both. Good flashbang from Bowden. But Exit and Henny come up with two more. Make it a third. All down oh. to Bowden. But Henny shuts him down. Going to be going out towards mid here. He's got that smoke primed and ready. Going to toss it right behind the Molotov, but it's a little late. He still managed to get the frag onto Insani, but Turtle's right there for the trade, and they spotted out the Donut player. MOTM does manage to escape with full HP, but still, MIBR is wary of his position. And in fact, Turtle's already slipped past a smoke thrown behind him, which is actually kind of smart, because mm -hmm. if you throw that smoke, it makes ATK think, oh, they don't want us to see them from this position, but not realizing that a player's already passed. That said, Swisher is going to ventilate BRN with the M4A4, and ATK have a man advantage. It's the first time, but it does oh, not there last it is. for long. The op yep. is taken out. Turtle stabs from behind. And now Henny's op can try and make its impact in the round. Shot's not going to connect the nade. Probably will, though. And yeah, DJ's going to go down to half HP. Exit trying to punch that bomb down. MOTM falls in the meantime. Bomb is planted. And exit spammed, but not eliminated. Turtle, they know where he is now. And exit, 6 HP. Henny, oh. though, with the next kill, leaving Swisher in a 1v3. He'll probably just try and save the AK here. Very tentatively grabbing that and diving out in a way to save off of the back of the timeout. ATK cannot answer. And what really starts the snowball of success for MIBR is that opening pick onto the B site from Turtle. Getting in through red, that smoke behind him makes ATK think there's nobody pushed up that advanced. He pops, he rings the bell of Bowden, and then Henny goes and does what he does best. Shooting people with an op and... MIBR are it very intelligently, which is part of the reason why he ended up having the IGL duties. Took it over from Jota, in fact, and I think the reason why was because they were expecting Jota to be picked up, so they needed someone else to take that mantle. And I mean, Exit is as good a man as any to take care of the IGL duties. Now, MIBR do lose the first player, and Sani goes down. That was uh, towards mid. He tried to gain the space, and it was denied by MOTM. That's a good pick from Bowden too. Henny for the first time cannot entry into the bomb sites with his big green gun in mid, all the way back in house. Sees a nade fly, eats that nade, goes for the taps, but it's BRN who removes his head from his shoulders. Two on each site, four ATK, DJ in cave, Swisher on the site proper, holding on to an A1 as it's dropped over to him, Swisher.
Been a long time using the A4, even during Prime A1S days. DJ doesn't need help though. He's got a pair, but Exit doubles down. Got Swisher first, DJ second, and he can get the bomb down, forcing Mystim and Bowden into. Bowden just tapping it, looking to draw out Exit. They're looking in the wrong direction, in fact, not even. Staring at that smoke, Mistim finally does, looks back and forth, should be able to get it, and he does, there we go, exit, yeah, we are in. Swisher's all the way up though, look at yeah. that, they've got two, the ball that's so interesting. DJ's got, oh never mind, he can't get it, and BRN finally compounds, the bomb can rotate over, BRN doubles, <laughs> oh, no. he took out Bowden too, and now they know A is clear, why are they not going A? Why, why is Exit still here? Exit, you should have been on the A side by now, bud. He's gonna go down. That's the bomb. Swisher's on 3 HP. But this is now winnable for him. This is a winnable situation from something that could have been bomb timer ticking down. MIBR over Zealous. And DJ, perhaps exposed to him if he's not careful. And there you have it. Turtle gets one. Trying to swing for the second. And no. Swisher ensures the trade comes through. 4v4, two players on the B site, able to reset themselves and plant their feet. Oh no, Henny struck again though, MOTM goes down and Donut, this could trigger a rotation. It does, but look at Bowden's push. Oh, he had oh. no ammo! That's Bowden. a massive lapse in judgment. And you can see the pressure mounting for ATK there. Little mistakes being made here and there. Missed him, caught out by Henny. Bob to be planted, Swisher implanted to the ground. And it's going to be tough for them to even recover something of a reasonable scoreline. Now exit with the opener and making a second kill. He might have been blind, but oh, Bowden's oh. picked up too. Smistum comes in with a headshot. Swisher's flash getting two assists, 2v2. Smistum falls all down to MOTM now. A good reposition and something they might not expect. Turtle's walking in. Free kill for MOTM. Runs into the next player. Does Got he the have timing. the ammo? Oh. He did not. And that's why we're seeing the 10 to 1 score line. MOTM does get the opener though. Pushing up towards mid. Headshot onto BRN. Feels like a lot of the close rounds for ATK have also been when they've had the pistols. Anyway, Bowden, nice shot onto Turtle. Okay. Do they check his position? And Sonny ready to jiggle. MOTM shoots prematurely. It doesn't matter. He still farms up a pair. It's all time to Henny. No off. It's the rifle to clutch. And he's nailed the second of five. Henny, he is very, very good. We have seen him on full display over the past night and a half. Uh, Swisher will. He, he was, and Swisher gets the last frag. Bjorn and Sonny take a lot of damage. You're going towards the B side. DJ gets one. He might get traded. Bjorn's waiting, checking short B, and missed him, finds him. There's the response finally from Turtle. Still a man advantage. Then the two man advantage and bomb drop in favor of ATK. Exit tries to swing quickly. He'll get nothing. Bowden drops him. Finally, ATK waking up here. And oh! he's still difficult to take down. He gets two. Looking for the third now. And the Molotov has dissipated. He wants that clean shot onto the player on Long B. He gets it, but missed him. There is a chance for a fifth round for ATK, but they have to win this one. They have to do it clean. Mistim's got one. MOTM needs that kill. Turtle cannot be allowed to find two there. He does a lot of work. And he's blind. And Swisher might be able to equalize, and he will. Turtle's down to half HP. The bomb is down outside B as well. But the mid position, they've already gone in towards spawn. Bowden is ready, but can he deal? He got the first, and Swisher now knows what is happening. Surely BRN is expected. Surely Bowden no. doesn't get caught out here. Who does the catching? It's a game of cat and mouse. Bowden oh. catches the timing, <laughs> flips around to the right time, and ATK one kill away from their... Th has to watch out for cave, has to watch out for ramp, and I mean the flank is covered, but that's still two positions he has to go back and forth looking at. Bowden gets rid of turtle, so no easier fuss, no much. Far easier than B. But not having Look any this real util. pressure here, the utility's clearing everything, but MOTM, he's still got the first. He's playing around the smoke. Mistim's here as well, pushing on through, but he can't get the damage. Henny and Turtle find a pair, take a lot of damage, but Bowden has at least kept it to a three-on-three. Three. No bomb plant yet for Maiden Brazil, looking to get that down as soon as possible. Bowden creeping around. He spots out Turtle, but he goes between the legs. He hits him with a nutmeg, but that's not good enough for a kill. DJ coming through, runs into D, into Insani, and he puts him down. 
Swisher now on the 1v3, and MIBR decide they don't want to plant on A anymore. They don't need to plant on A anymore, because most likely, about 99% odds, it's completely open at B, and Swisher finds himself in a pretty rough spot. If he can find Tenny, they still know where his position is. They can isolate him. Already they're watching. And Sonny on the angle. Turtle just behind. Swisher nowhere to go. Nowhere to move. Spots the first. He's got the first. He does not know where the second and third are. He has an angle, but Henny has the better. 11 to 4 for MIBR. See you. Tomorrow for the second and final spot in Pro League from North America. Turtle being forced back in K, but it's BRN with the opening kill. He's there with his teammate. He needs oh. no help. Oh. He's got three headshots looking for a fourth. Odin will return the favor, but that's still going to put ATK behind the eight ball. Only one player left standing, and not for long. MIBR both to shut down any peaks from the ATK players up Snake. And as it stands, he won't even be Doesn't needed because Insani's gone for it. Now it's time for BRN. He'll go for one more, and Sani might just have to pop for the last. Could get sandwiched, though. Demotm has an opportunity, and actually, Insani just... So, well done on MMBR's side. Great coordination. MOTM and DJ, the last two standing. Insani in their way, and Insani gets one more. Two on the round. DJ frags him, but that's all the information MMBR should need. 3v1, exit, coming out with the MP9, and he will take care of business. DJ, and he, it doesn't matter what gun he's using, he's just a complete monster. Now he's got the op again, and he gets one, legs another, and Sonny gets uh, Bowden, BRN drops two, Henny's involved in three of those frags, and then he gets the last one. That is the Henny of old. This is major finalist, Henny. I don't know what Bowden was doing there. It feels like I, I don't know what he's doing over right now. Yeah. yeah. I think for them, just get this is beyond the 55. This is almost impossible. Turtle oh, taken okay. down for the first. MOTM takes a lot of damage, though. BRN hanging around the smoke, looking for an opening. That's the bomb dropped forward. And more at the open arms of MIBR. BRN not going to burn here. He's going to be able to stay alive. Not able to finish off DJ, however. And he will get the bomb on the ground. Time will start ticking. Missed him in towards cave. All three MIBR players coming from the same angle. Back CT. Good flashbang over top. DJ removed. Missed him the last one standing. Looking for these kills. Smoked off as MIBR are just going to take the easy route. They don't know he's here. Now they do. But he's oh. got two. Maybe he can get the last. So much on to exit. Has to fakes the reload, actually. Very smart play. Makes the noise. Exit. Holding his nerve. No kit. It's over. ATK will have five. Unbelievable exit. We'll go down. Okay, but it's, he's going to get the oh, ding through the spam. What? Maybe he heard that, too. Turtle just unlucky there. Couldn't turtle up enough, and he's going to fall down. But takes at least half the Swisher's HP away from him. That's going to yeah. spur on BRN to go from behind and get the backstab on. In the meantime, though, uh -oh. A-Site flooded. Odin caught, though, and that is a problem. Uh-oh, indeed, as the bomb has not yet been able to be planted. The smokes will fade shortly as well. Now it goes down into the open. But it's a man disadvantage for ATK in this post plant, and three players from MIBR coming from what would be the T's at attack points. And Henny's got the AK upgrade. BRN, though, goes down in A main. DJ spraying him down. That will help immensely for ATK. It's all full HP, but it doesn't matter! And Sonny with half health takes down Mistim and DJ almost in one fell swoop. MOTM last one standing. Does get one, the second, but not the third. Henny finishes what he started here on Ancient with his 29th frag. 16 to 8, the final has Pup of Zerping and Halo Flyer, our producer for the evening. MIBR on the T side here of Anubis. ATK on the CT side. A map they have to win to survive here in this matchup. Bowden with the opening kill. Exactly what ATK needed. Get on the board early. But he is traded at by Turtle. MOTM trying to do something, but he cannot answer. The DJ's found another kill, but it's a 3v3 as Henny has found a mark onto MOTM. Swisher domed by the very same offer. And now the B site wide open for business for MIBR, getting that bomb down. Split rotations coming in from ATK right now, and Turtle's in a good spot to catch DJ off from behind. Taps away, dinks him down, finishes the job. Missed him in a 1v4, 3 in an 1v3, as Henny has himself back. Swisher in close proximity as well. 
Smoke's gonna fly on through. Counter utility was held for DJ, but he's not gonna let it go. BRN entering into the site. He is the primary entry now for MIBR these days. And gonna toss a little bit of utility. Now, wait for his teammates to get that bomb down. ATK primed for a retake. Four on four. And DJ's got the first onto Insani. That's a good start for ATK around. They have to win. DJ spots a second onto the retreating BRN, but he cannot get that kill. Henny, sitting around on site. Odin clearing in, but BRN has finished off DJ. Swisher one for one. Exit hanging around, looking for another, but it's MOTM and Bowden, and ATK will get on the board early. The 10 second T fuse will not be a problem. And they cut the lead to one round. Both only four rounds in the chamber, has to reload. Swisher gets caught with a molly in hand, and he has not found a kill, but missed him, however, will double down. Exits flash bing, blinds his teammates, but he has found Swisher. BRN comes oh, in from what behind. A swing. He comes in from the flank and gone, and he's gonna shut down Mistum. Down to MOTM and DJ now. The tide has turned against ATK on a side where they desperately need to string things together. DJ down, MOTM 1v3. Henny has the op, exit low on health. Same with Henny, but they know where he is now. Sprays away, that's the bomb down, what? and MOTM can play time. He does not need to face Henny on the AWP, and surely Henny swaps for an AK here. Surely he does not stick on the rifle once he recovers that bomb and gains a little bit of space. He's still on the op. He's looking the right way, and he's got the <laughs> shot onto MOTM. Making his way up long. Might be a pincer attack onto the B site. There's BRN working with that flashbang that was thrown by Exit perfectly. The trade does come through, but Insani, the immediate response afterwards, gives MRBR that man advantage. Now ATK have to be wondering, where are they going to go? They have two players on the B site. A is far more vulnerable, but because of the way MIBR is set up and how much time is left on the clock, it almost certainly has to be the B site that they're going to end up on. And they still have a very lethal pincer attack coming through. Odin hits one on the turtle. That's an aggressive peek, but you got to do it to try and deny Ooh. MIBR. And he gets the second. The bomb is dropped. The last two players are not able to pick up the bomb unless they go for the fights immediately. There's one. 14 seconds left now. Yeah, Swisher oh. almost almost whiffs the spray, but does finish the job, and that will at least secure the round. Second picked up by ATK, but that was messy on both sides. Opportunity to go in towards the A side through Plateau. DJ here, and he's gonna stonewall one, but only one. Exit has found a pair, and that's a man advantage for MIBR. The bomb able to go down on the A side as well. And they'll carry over two A4s and the AWP into this following, into the next round. Yeah, that's a great play from Exit, but I also want to say that Insani, in particular, with only 3H and a good chunk more utility than they would have had without that plant, not to mention Henny is on big green. Swirling's a lot closer this time, and there's Bowden ringing true for the opening frag onto Insani. 5v4 just like that. Swisher makes it a 5v3. All right, ATK, I mean, definitely looking better than they did at the beginning of this series. And uh, of course that makes sense because uh, Anubis, not on their map pick, but one that they're trying to put into a pool, I think on a regular basis. I would assume so, since they have no intention to play nuke still. So, yeah, they're just going to fold Anubis into the play, and it's a fun map to watch. There's a lot you can do on it, and we barely scratched the surface. We're starting to see a lot more things on Angel still, but oh, a lot of DJ he cannot capitalize on, but MOTM gets the kill, tosses in the nade, but exit... Will not be touched by the fragments. And he has the bomb and he's stuck in limbo. Exit, yes, he has a sight, but does he really have a sight is the question. He has it technically, but there's players all around him. They know they don't need to fight because the bomb hasn't even made its way there. And he across the bridge, making his way over to Dumbledore. Swisher did not spot. No, he did. He saw he him. He saw yeah. him just a little tad. Oh, that was intentional. Way. Yeah. Henny with the brain games. And Look how wary ATK are of taking fights with Henny, right? I mean, Swisher thought about it twice and said, you know what? Uh, no. <laughs> we have the advantage here. Let's not throw this round away. Oh, the last round, but he's got to do it against rifles now. Pistols are one thing. Rifles a different animal. The bomb and utility, but not the second onto Henny. Odin smoked back. It's a four outside looking in. That's the danger. ATK are unaware of, and Henny's got two. Doesn't oh, matter, op or rifle. He's nailing everybody to the wall. Third and final, the last round of the magazine. Oh, that's 
side of that. Bowden looking for the opener, but he misses the shot and VRN responds immediately. This is in the first 10 seconds. VRN through the smoke, almost sprays down, missed them as well. And the rest of the team, they're barreling on forward. They're already towards Ivy and Gate here at the B site. On its doorstep, Turtle walks in, finds himself another, but Swisher hangs on for at least two. That will keep it close, but it's... Surely they don't try this. Surely they don't try this. They're going in, and that's why you don't try this. Now you only have one gun to save, and BRN's ready for the last. He why? will not be stopped. The BMIBR trying to shut out ATK 2-0 and book a spot in Season 17 of ESL Pro League. Bowden gets caught by Turtle in Water, and that is not a good start for ATK. A pistol round they have to win. They have not won a single pistol no. so far tonight. Winning here would be a good one, but... It does not look good here, John. They are falling like flies, getting mowed down one by one. They do at least get the plant. And now Swisher's got one, but it's all down to DJ. One is all he finds. Exit sitting behind. Will get dropped by Mistum, but in comes Insani. There's one big one, but he cannot get by DJ. BRN, you have to win the following force fight. Yeah, at least ATK do that. Great work, Odin. Going out here, and it's actually Insani who gets the opening shot fired and takes down MOTM. DJ with the immediate trade, and DJ certainly woken up. He's leading the scoreboard now on ATK. I guess it's since that point where he gets uh, the team kill dink onto MOTM, and maybe that woke him up and said, whoa, whoa, what's going on? I, I gotta start fragging the other team, not my own team. <laughs> and uh, since that point, he's actually been pretty lights out. I don't know if it's necessarily going to transition to the gun rounds, though. Swisher going to take down BRN, and then he finds Turtle as well. 4v2 in favor of 8. Or you can get a full buy up and you call a pause here. Unless, of course, they're able to win this round with the saved rifles and probably a couple pistols around them. RN. Look at the money. Laying a little bit of an off angle out towards Long as well. Maybe catching Swisher off guard as he comes around the corner, and that's exactly what's going to happen. MOTM next in line and next oh. to fall. BRN, two big kills, and giving MIBR a road back into this lead. Try to cut the deficit to three rounds. I think before, yeah, exactly. Before he pushes through, just wait for your teammates to come through. Good flashbang thrown. Missed him, trying to capitalize on it. Spots Ooh. out a player and gets the headshot onto Insani. That isolates Exit, who's going to have to wait a little bit longer. Missed him, will not be able to find him. Great flashbang thrown, but Exit stands long enough for the reinforcements to come through. That said, Bowden with a wicked shot onto BRN. Evens out the numbers at a 2v2. Oh. And Henny finds Bowden, makes it a 2v1. MIBR trying to recover here. It's all down to DJ and Turtle. I think he did. I think he's got an inkling. I don't know if he necessarily saw him. And then he hits the shot into Swisher. Will that lead to a trade? It does. So good job from ATK. They didn't want to lose Swisher, but once it happens, they capitalize on it. And look at this back and forth play. MIBR end up on the winning end of it, but Insani almost gets caught off by Mistim. That gives up the sight, and Bowden rings true once more in a 3v2 to even up the numbers at two. Insani, 41 HP, Turtle 100, Flashbang sails in, thrown by Insani, and he's got the Molotov as well. Incer attack is on, they're not looking for Turtle lane main, Bowden turns around, but it's too late. 2v1, all up to miss him here to deny MIBR an 11th round. He's trying to play it patiently. Peering around the corner from heaven to plateau. The defusal's on, Insani's not looking. Now he is, but it's uh, a little too late for him. Bomb defusal, is it on? No, not being stuck by Turtle. He does get the frag, does he have time? He does, defusal will be good, and MIBR secure the 11th. Moving into A main. He's got everyone with him, in fact. All five players trying to blitz onto the A site from this direction. Great flashbang, thrown exit, fully blinded. Goes down MOTM, and Sunny should be able to get the trade, but he goes down as well. That is a very effective take, and because you kept the economy so honest for MIBR, you have to wonder if MIBR even wants to go for this one. Three players are very low on health, though, Austin. They don't know that, though. That's a thing. Finding ways to stay alive. The timeout goes against MIBR. And I think that timeout let ATK settle down a little bit more. Talk things over. 50-50 matchup. I want three maps. I need that matchup. And Bowden is going to give us the opening here. Swisher's coming around too. And he's picked up Turtle. ATK turning on the Jets. Looking to go to Inferno and give us the best of three we deserve. Three alive for MIBR. 
Mist is coming out. I mean, if ATK hunts down all these rifles, it'll be really tough for MFDR to get back into this one. Henny is just very solid. He gets one, almost a second, headshot it down. Incendiary could save his life, but DJ just charges through it. Henny will go down, even though he hits the no scope on to It's not good. MFDR is really solid. Yeah. Another A blitz, perhaps Henny getting forced away, but he's already got the opening. MOT him around the corner, and Henny will have two. ATK feeding Henny. Do not want to give this man confidence. He's on the losing side and he still has the most kills on the server. Yeah, Henny has had 23 or more frags over the last four maps that he's played. Mm -hmm. um, it's ridiculous how well he is playing up at this point. BRN will go down to Swisher. He does a lot of damage at the very least. And Swisher's trying to take another fight. He will go down and at this point, ATK... Benefit. Odin's got some flashes, though, and actually they're going to boost over. They're going to run boost in here. Are they going to go for a run? They do. It does not daunt any, though. There's his 24th of the map here, John, which means now it's 24 kills or more in every single game he's played in conference. DJ only won more. Well, you tell Money is still pretty healthy as well, but opening frag goes towards Insani, peeks towards Bridge, and finds himself what? one almost a second through the smoke. He's just spamming angles, catches off DJ, gets him down to 12 in the meantime. ...to find a way to win. We are seeing that evidenced in full here. No flash around the corner. MOTM drops the molly, but he's still dead. That's the off guard. Odin cannot have them the next unless he's dropped that by Swisher, who dives around, has to stay alive as time is That about is to... exit removed. Henny has not been able to find the refrag either, and Sonny starting to cover up this mid control. MOTM can't get caught looking the wrong direction, and he is. There was a pincer, so he was dead either way. And BRN finds Swisher too. MIBR clawing back nice in, shot. looking for OT. Odin. Missed him, goes down first as Henny holds the line. Thought Bowden would have been the first man around the corner. He is not. DJ somehow still alive. Bowden trying to take out the op, and he does just that. DJ around. Bowden with two, but he oh. cannot get more. MIBR have brought it to round. 26 seconds left now. ATK have to get a move on. Exit will be a key player here on default. MOTM the headshot onto Henny. Exit peers around the corner. Gets one. Maybe the second. No. Swisher denies him. A 3v2 for ATK. Trying to take the 16th round. BRN and Insani have to go huge here. Insani coming around with the A1S. Listen, looking on the flank. Bowden hits the shot onto Insani. CRN is dropped as well. ATK, hang on in regulation. At ESL Pro League. Here on map three, Henny pushing down, good flash bang, Bowden stays alive for a moment, and MOTM will trade him, but Turtle pushes down mid. The crunch comes in from MIBR, and ATK are smothered. No way out, no way to survive. They're gonna have to try and survive this push down. DJ won, but exit stool Beretta's reign supreme. <laughs> he grabs both of them down T ramp, and Swisher is going to try and get them from behind. He's got the dink onto the first. Does he find exit? He's got damage. Exit making all the noise. Swisher playing this one so Why are smart. They He's isolated. Box? They have a clear new box, and Swisher's got both. Yeah, they do like to stack the players up early in the rounds on this B site just to get all that util thrown out. Eventually they fall off of it unless there's a lot of contact happening. Nade connects for a little bit of damage. So does the Molotov. BRN a step too far past the half ball. MOTM catches them up, but the trade is right there. A touchdown coming through from exit with the nade. Even so the numbers at a 4v4 turtle. He spotted out Swisher. Yeah, he did. He's going to try and pre-fire here. Eventually, one of them's going to win the day, and it ends up being Swisher with the headshot onto Turtle. ATK, a one-man edge, trying to take the MP9, a couple of MP9s, a Deagle, and the 5-7. Swisher and MOTM and missed him. Looking to gain that space up banana. They got the boost over the half ball. They really it's clear. Great flashbang thrown by Exit, but a better response from Swisher, who gets himself two. Exit and BRN go down, and A1S is picked up off the ground by Mista, just to make sure that he had enough rounds to deal with anyone else that could be there, and they have pushed back MIB off. Sonny blocks the coffin smoke, but ATK look ready for it. Swisher's gonna barrel on in. The rest of his team joining the party. Missed him, tries to go up, but he is put in a box. And Sonny will upgrade to the A1S as well. Good little chance for him to do a little damage as the mom should be getting planted momentarily. Bowden spots out Turtle coming up car, and he does spray him down through the plywood. 
Henny and Insani. At least Henny able to Henny escape for free. Insani in. might be able to get out of dodge Back too. Heater in Speedway. Utility gonna flood in. Insani's gonna run on back. Exit on top. He spots a couple of players coming around the corner. And he's got the bomb as well. Nobody ready for the Coffins player. DJ with one. Heavy damage onto Insani. And exit down to 15 HP. DJ gonna punch in those digits. Hoping his teammates cover his back. The bomb will go down. No. So will Insani. That is massive to bring it to a 3v3. Good pickup by Bowden through the smoke. Molotov fading out exit could peak from construction but instead it's going to be swisher going over aggressively dj and bowden 2v3 only two smokes and a flashbang now just dj left alive as bowden plucked from the round by henny playing from new box he spots out the first but he has been spotted now both players swinging but they have utility in hand dj trying to play for new box trying to buy the time there are kits though and he will fall also need on board missed him Smoking in the Molotov saying, no, someone's here. Double peeking around the corner. Great flashbang from MOTM. Better trade from Exit. And he spots out a player. MOTM charging up towards the half wall. That means Exit's going to toss me Tilly on board. But EJ, in the meantime, that was on the other side of the map. Takes down Turtle in the apartments to make it a 4v3. And an instant response again from the Brazilians. Insani dropping EJ. Exit gets MOTM, who tries to re-peek around that smoke. And a man advantage now for MIBR. Grades favor the T's, but no longer as the man advantage goes to the Brazilian side. Utility being thrown over towards Ace. It's going to be a pincer in onto Insani's position. Swisher already up top graveyard. Insani on the bicycle, keeping an eye on two different angles. He drops down to the smoke now. Swisher up top makes noise, though. That's the problem. Insani now can rotate out. His gun barrel, his head shows, and Swisher finally sprays him down. Dropping away as Bowden gets the bomb on the ground. On top of the bike, Swisher dodges a flashbang, looking for the player on lane, but there's another threat coming in through apartments, which Swisher does not know about. He rotates around, keeps an eye on both angles, a very tough position to be in for Swish. Now he knows there's a player from Apps and Henny with a drive-by headshot. Puts Bowden in a very tough spot. 1v2 with the op in hand. Misses that critical first shot. Misses the second on towards Henny, and it's going to be an off recovered for the Brazilian side, and MIBR he is leading the charge of Banana. There's two players here for MIBR, and they're just going to run on in. MOTM with one. No trade back as it's BRN with an 8 kill on a Swisher. The gun kill onto MOTM, but the trades are favoring ATK now as Mistim just goes for the jump across. Oh, Odin wow. tagged down heavily by Insani, but he will still get the bomb down, and he is on the AWP. Still a nade in the hands of Henny. Can be very dangerous, but DJ lurks for the opper. He's waiting, but he makes noise, and Henny misses the shot. DJ shuts down the primary three. They could still go down here. Have to be careful, because ATK are rotating trying to hunt down those two rifles and they will not be successful the the side, the better their overall chances are going to be they're just gonna barrel up towards brackets nobody's clearing out boiler though a massive oversight for atk turtle does get traded though henny up in the halls with the big green takes a shot he has Bowden on a plate but missed him there for the trade 3v3 bomb to go down on the ace at the hardest site in modern counter-strike to retake and that should just be a save from mibr barring any fast frags to give them a road yeah. back in they do have a good amount of utility two molotovs in the he plenty of smokes and flashes one nate molotov in towards big pit smoke going down as well mibr you have to deal with all these players on site though and it missed them just up close and personal around the smoke a very advantageous position trying to smoke criminal his way out of this they're spamming they're hoping to kill but he's caught exit down with his pants and dj's gonna get another one here onto brn and sonny hanging around spotted out by motm and just finally finished off briar this is the fifth map he has played in conference and his lowest impact so far smoke's coming in one towards stairs and one towards CC, trying to deal with the op of Henny. They run in towards CT and missed him. Drive buys him with the A1S this time. Exit so low That's on a health. Plant. Just praying for sanctuary in church. Somebody's got a plant. Swisher will just pick the bomb up after he tosses it back. Get that coffin plant. But look how fast the rotations are. Up banana, turtle, and Insani both here, both ready to go. Bowden and Mistim, though, both with ops. And that's huge because Mistim's health is so low. BRN met by the op of Bowden, who drops off second oranges. Exit, though. That is massive on the Swisher. But Mistim does not care. He's got two <laughs> on the big green. It's all down to Bowden and Zani now. 1v2 for the Young Academy upgrade. But Bowden flicks him down. 9 to ATK.
looks like A will be the final destination. With 32 seconds left, the way they're posturing, you have to make the move, and here it comes. BRN goes down right off the dock, and what a peek from DJ, and then they get the follow-up on the turtle. Only one player left, that's Insani. He's just trying to get away, and he can't. Swisher is allowing no one to exit this bomb site. He gets the 2k, and it's only exit and Henny left, and in a 5v2, I don't care what you've got on CT side. You are not getting back on this A site, and that is why they're going BRN, gonna wait for that smoke to fade and try and push the brackets. The Molotov will not betray MOTM Bowden Bowden will double down, so will MOTM! Oh my Two kills for goodness. the pair! And Hetty again with nothing to say in the round, because he's the man soloing the opposite site! And Swisher might just try and punish, that's a beautiful shot from Henny. But again, his kills are adding up to nothing in the end, they're just exits! They're just a little bit of economic damage at this point, does it even matter? Because look at the ATK bank, and more importantly, look at their round count. They're up to 11. This is what Jota brought to the team when they played Inferno before. As Why? Insani is just going to go down to Bowden. DJ finds Turtle. A 4v3 advantage here in favor of ATK. And now MOTM what? and BRN <laughs> going to bump noses. And MOTM is going to win that battle. BRN, and no he sees one... movement. He shoots it. But it just happens to be a chicken. And then Bowden can just flip around and get the kill. Exit gets removed from the round. And the bomb's gonna go down on an a, on B. Meanwhile, there's still DJ and Bowden here on A, trying to hunt down Henny. There, I don't Henny think there's an escape for here, here for Henny. He does spot no. the player up on top of Cold Box, who does drop down now. DJ's looking for him. Bowden closing the gap, and there was another player coming through as well. Dis and MOTM's got the entry. He's going around for more. Tries to dodge a flashbang. BRN will trade, but look how much map control they have towards A2. Smoke's going in as they go for the wrap around towards the site. I believe Swisher spots the player. TK! DJ's TK'd, but he does finish off Turtle as well. Swisher will eliminate Insani. 3v2 in the favor of ATK. DJ is shooting everything that moves. That's yes. the first time he's attacked a teammate. <laughs> the first time he has killed a teammate. But he has made up for his transgression with kills. So I guess you can't really fault him for it. BRN, the last man standing, one kill on the Swisher, low on health, missed him with a pin. gonna engage? No, he slips into the smoke, and the Molotov is no good at all. MIBR toss it into the smoke, DJ slips behind the lines, and they do spot him out and take him down. Another strong start to the pistol round by MIBR, and this time, they have full control of this A site. Still possible for HK to get back in, but it's not gonna be easy. They gotta clear out Henny for maps, one of the primary parts they have to do. And I think Mistum coming in from Arch has to do a lot of work. Turtle jiggles from Pit. Does not get his head removed just yet. Mistum trying to pop. He does spot the player in mini Pit. Swisher's got the opener. Bowden with another. But Insani and Henny and Insani mop it up. Lots of nade damage happening. There's still lots of utility being tossed here. Swisher gets one. MOT on the second. But exit response evens out the numbers. Bowden spotting out Turtle over at Bracket. And that will give ATK the man advantage. Also to his teammates, Molotovs are thrown in, Swisher on top of first, Oranges gets exit, last player standing is Insani, can he clutch it out, a decisive. So he's uh, losing a little bit of HP. And now Bowden activates again, second frag in the round, looking for the third, but Turtle blindsides him with an AK headshot, and that will open up a lot of space in towards CT. The thing is, Insani's trying to take this fight to departments, and he wins that. All of a sudden, down to a 3v3. Swisher, by his lonesome, needs the reinforcements, just trying to stay alive, and they have him pincered in. Turtle the headshot. MOTM and Mistum are trying to rotate around. Insani needs to get cleared out. There is a bit of utility for MOTM as well, a flash and a nade to use. He is clearing his angles, but if he goes on site, he can get in trouble. And that's exactly the problem. Insani with one, Henny with the next, and MIBR. Oh, and Swisher trying to end the round right here should MIBR walk into their crosshairs. But MIBR are being so patient, so wary, and Bowden should get one. There it is. Insani goes down. Great opener from Bowden. 49 seconds left. The second one would be even better. And now MBR readjusting. Bowden has the timing, though. Even though the flash is good, Turtle has dropped another 5v3 for ATK. The last time they had this, it got thrown by the wayside. Thanks, some good shots from MIBR. This time, MIBR going to readjust towards the B site, which is their advantage. Technically a 3v2. They don't have the utility for the take, though. They have yeah. one smoke. That's it. 
They're gonna have to dry fight all of this. The Molotov will not catch Mr. out, but he does drop Penny. It's the finishing kill and the bomb down. MOTM from Coffins boxes up BRN. X the last man standing, sprays away. But the prayer will not yeah. be heard. It will not yeah. be answered. He is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Exactly. Players on both sides, no time. He's dead after it. Not a kill to his Smoke's name. Going in their last pieces of utility. No Molotov. Oh wait, the ammo team still had one more flame. That's gonna burn a lot of time off of these smokes. Oh Swisher is pushing the flower pots. He's gonna get the first spot and the second kill as well. Dropping down. Missed him. Has another. He'll double, and that's it. That oh is ATK. They've qualified for ESL Pro League Season 17.